my name is Miss Banta and welcome to my last lecture. Uh, this is probably one of the hardest things I have actually tried to write because summarizing the most important thing in such a short time is tough, but I, I hope it's something that, that's meaningful for you. So I'm going to tell you a story to start. Um, I remember being within these walls because I've been here for a while now and getting an essay back and I thought I had totally nailed this essay. I was so excited and it came back to me and needless to say I had epically failed it and it's not like one of those kind of failed like I had actually come really close to failing it and I remember at that moment that feeling which I'm sure you can probably relate to of just feeling so frustrated at myself, at the teacher. It, it was just crushing, which sounds silly because it's, it's, a, it's a paper for goodness sakes. But I think we all have those moments that as small or as big as they are, they stick with us. And, and they stick with us because we've failed at something. And, and that's something I really, really struggle with actually is I am terrified of my imperfections and not just because they show I'm imperfect but because I'm so scared that those imperfections would hurt other people um, and I'm sure they have probably hurt some of you um, unintentionally and so if there's one thing I could leave with you it would be do not hold on to your imperfections as hard as that is and it has taken me uh, my lifetime so far to try and even glimpse a, a small piece of that but there's a story that's been on my mind uh, between Jesus and Peter that I think the good Lord just knows I need like every day <laughs> so probably some of you know it but it's where Peter is out fishing with um, some of the disciples and they they've caught like actually nothing and they're they're kind of frustrated I imagine and at that moment it's after Jesus has died Jesus appears to them um, and suggests throw the net on the other side classic Jesus move like they didn't think of that but anyways uh, they throw it on the other side and they catch fish and and that moment Peter realizes that it's Jesus and he just he leaps out of the boat ahead of the other disciples, swims over to Jesus, and I wonder what's going through his head. And this is this is the moment that I think is so, so beautiful because Peter, we know, is is one of the people that is known for his failures. He's known for being the one that denied Jesus, not once, not twice, but three times. And at that moment, he comes to the shore, I imagine, and Jesus is there. And, and rather than Jesus saying, like, how could you? How could you do that to me? You had three chances and you failed. He tells him, go get fish. And he does, Peter does, and comes back. And then Jesus says this, and it is so profound. He says, come and have breakfast. And that moment, especially this year, has been playing over and over in my head. So often I think we're great, I'm great at disqualifying ourselves um, from, from being able to receive grace, from being able to be with other people, or we're really, really good at disqualifying other people and saying like, oh, like, how could you? You're awful, that was terrible. And, Rather than being met with harshness, Jesus has this moment of compassion and says, come have breakfast with me. And so if there's one thing I could leave you with, if there's one thing that I hope you can hold on to, it's you can't hold on to your imperfections. It will actually crush you and it will crush those around you. And so, that's my advice to you um, with, with the few years that I have had on this planet. And I hope that's helpful. Um, yeah, thank you. Bless you, dear imperfect people. <laughs>